Hey, and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the required tools and how to set up your environment. So basically we can get started writing some code and getting works done. So, uh, as I've said in the previous videos, we are going, I'm going to develop using Windows uh, on the machine that I'm recording from. Uh, if you are following using Mac OS, things is going to be a little bit different. So, of course, the main required tools is Visual Studio 2022. You can follow using uh, VS Code, but you know, like it's a, I prefer the full IDE. Uh, you need .NET 6 point uh, whatever, and uh, you need the Azure Functions Core Tools V4. So basically, uh, we are going Visual Studio 2022 for Windows allows full development environment for Azure Functions. You can create a functions with the required triggers directly from Visual Studio, but Azure Functions Core Tools allows you to do the same actually using uh, uh, using the command line. So in this case, if you are developing using the base code, it's going to work just perfectly for you. And we, we need Postman, so we can test our APIs or our functions, uh, all of this locally. So if you are only on Windows, we need actually uh, Azure Cosmos DB emulator. So instead of creating your Azure Cosmos DB account on Azure, you can just get the emulator and then this at the name says it's an emulator. So it's basically a local environment for Azure Cosmos DB that supports the SQL API and then you, we, we can test against that all our development process before moving to, before putting the app online and making it available on Azure. We need the Azure storage emulator. I was just uh, surprised that there is uh, a new thing that's called Azurity, I think, and I was just reading about that, which is, so the emulator is deprecated, and that one is a lighter version of this one, and uh, it's open source so using Node.js and stuff like that, so we are going to take a look at this, and we need the Azure Storage Explorer. Basically, Azure Storage Explorer is available for Mac and for Windows, so we can just basically uh, put it over here. As it's available for both so on Azure you can actually develop using you can get the Visual Studio 2022 community edition and it's right now in a preview version Azure Storage Explorer uh, is a utility that allows us to see our tables to see our queues uh, our blobs so it's needed because it's better than the if you are connected to the emulator then we can use this one to connect to the emulator only on Windows but even if you are having your Azure account, so you can connect to the to your subscription and then you can discover your storage account from over here and manage it fully. It's it's amazing. So basically those are the required tools for now. Throughout the way, we need some more accounts like Sending Blue to start sending emails and stuff like that. But for now, this is what we need. And if we open up this, as you can see, if you wanna run the, the Cosmos DB emulator, on uh, on macOS, you can do that because I've just seen that it's actually right now has been available on preview as a Docker image, so Docker for Linux. So which means you can install that on on Mac. So I will I will throw out the link of this article in the description box. Actually, you are going to see all the links in the description below and also on the GitHub repository of the project, so you can install all the required stuff. The other thing required is, as we have said, the Azure Cosmos DB emulator for local development and testing. This is for Windows. You can install it from over here. Azure Storage Explorer. This is the link. You can just hit download. And the Azure Storage emulator, they said it's deprecated recently. And this is the replacement. Azure Azurity emulator. So I'm going to discover that. Actually, the article has just been published about like one or 10 days ago. And uh, yeah, by default they said it's coming with Visual Studio, but I'm going to take a look at that and see uh, if we need any additional setup for this, I'm going to uh, let you know and or make a special video about that. So if you are installing Visual Studio Community, make sure that you install Visual Studio and from over here, make sure that the Azure development is checked when you are installing Visual Studio. So in this, this means that the Azure functions will be there and I think Azure is going to be there as well. So uh, this is perfect. I think this is everything that we need, but we still have, uh, yeah, we still have the Azure functions core tools. So you can install them 
from over here we need the version 4 of course because version 4 supporting dotnet 6 so you need it from over here and throughout the course you're going to create some functions using visual studio but you're going to create some using the core tools so you can uh, get familiar with this especially if you are following on mac it's it's somehow required so after you install it make sure to open the terminal and uh, we head over here if you had funk by just typing like funk you hit enter this is what you should see so basically if you see something like that so this means the azure function core tools are installed and make sure that the version 4 is there uh, if you are following on windows this is our, all the stuff that you that you required but if not actually you need to create an azure account for simplicity and you need to create an azure cosmos db and azure storage account and then you can follow azure functions is available also on, on mac so you can easily uh, find that over here there is all the instruction of how to get that installed so basically this is everything that i want to talk about for this session it's very simple as i've said again you can find the links on the github repo on the description box below and if you have any questions uh, as i mentioned also at the beginning of the video that we have right now the discord uh, server where you can ask all your questions and open any kind of discussions and i'll be like close for for the server so i, I can uh, respond very quickly and maybe if you have any ideas suggestions and stuff like that we can go ahead so this is everything right now the next video are going to start creating the project and having the first blocks of our project to get started thank you so much and see you in the next one